Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to do a video on uh, introduction to geospatial data analysis using Python here. And for that I have opened my spider ID and without delaying I am going to import and create my uh, Python script here. First of all we have to create a module giving a name it here. I am providing it a name is introduction. Your is fed your data handling using Python. You can simply save it here. It is saving in a py format as it is a script. So, without delaying, I am putting it. and I am passing a comment over here what I am going to do in next step you can see it here. now I am providing a data variable name Making it read by using GeoPandas library. You can see it here, we can get it. And after this, I am providing a path here by requesting it. And I am going to copy this path first of all. Paste it here simply. You can copy this say, file which uh, we are going to make it read. After this, provide the path here and you can simply hit enter and you can make it. We have no error, we can proceed ahead. Now, after that, we can see our variable data. Variable explorer here and you can see. We have lots of data here. Is we have uh, only geometry, country name, and this value on the data. But uh, what does GeoPandas do? It creates information based on this geometry. So it has very important role here. You can see geometry rule has geometry column has very important role here. Now after this, what I am going to show you that I am going to show you by plotting the map of my data you can simply see it here after this you can simply see before that I am showing you here in the ipython console the type of data is actually the old data is you can see it here you can simply type old data and you can hit enter you can see it here what does old data contain and after that what can you do is that you can check the type of this data by typing typing type old data here and after this you can simply hit enter and you can see it is a geopanda geodata frame uh, you can simply see it here and i am going to show you by plotting this command here after this you can see uh, this is the say file data map that we are using in this video it is a old map <coughs> old map data so simply here, uh, I am going to show you the variable, different variable in it. You can see the, you can see it here. 
it is the information created by a you can see this is the name of our the country now after this we can simply gonna use uh, I'm here creating my data with only you can see it here creating my old map map equal to I'm creating a new variable for what I am going to do now equal to I'm creating old data and I'm going to assign which data we are going to use here so if you are going to mentioning the two column in your uh, data you have to provide a square bracket here you can simply give it a name here that we have used there you can see it here in the variable explorer this is name you can see the column name it is in capitalized form it is in one you can simply close it and I am going to provide it a caps form and you can see it here I am providing a geometry and what does it will do is that uh, it can simply we can simply see it by we can run it to we can see it now we have created our another variable called old map that contains only name and the geometry column and we are gonna using this uh, old map in the further step and now I am going to I'm going to change my year and I am going to plot my old map here first of all and simply see and after this I am going to calculate the area of the country that we are we have in this map for that I am passing a comment here over here area of each country and for that I am going to create a column over there in the geodata geopanda geodata frame and I am providing a area column there and simply see it here and after that you can simply type after this you can see this is our column that we are going to create and you can simply see it here and after that we can see our old map variable here you can see we have created a area here but you can see the value of uh, this area is very little because the coordinate system we have used is in decimal degrees so its value is very less later on i will show you how to deal with the, the projection of the coding projection and manage our data first of all i am going to manage my this data by removing you can simply so it here by removing this antarctica region you can see it in the screen we have no work any dealing with that antarctica part and 
See yes, I'm passing a statement here. Map equal to You can simply go after this and you can simply and provide exclamatory max here and provide equal to this uh, what does exclamatory max provide uh, info in this uh, python is that it is it provide us information that it is not equal to antarctica here simply see it here and I am providing a name of the Antarctica here is A N T A R T I C A Antarctica we have you can see we have no error so we can proceed ahead and for that I am going to plot it and show you the change we have made after this argument here I am not passing any comment over here now I'm simply running it what we have done we have removed out this Antarctica part here yeah, now I'm going to do a changing the projection work here so I'm passing comment over here now after this what I'm going to do is using recent or present CRS I am going to understanding what the present uh, CRS we are using here so I am passing simple here attribute geopanda attribute to understand which coordinate system are we using here We can simply see by entering and we can run it first of all and you can here uh, see it is in C R S. You can see it is a uh, EPSG 143 26. What does it mean? Is that uh, gives us uh, about old geodetic system that is WGS 1984, which is coordinate system in the degree format. You can see it here so that we are getting the fluctuating result of the uh, area over there. So, here. I am dealing it with the heat to changing the projection of it. So I am doing simply changing it to here yeah, old now here. Yeah. Changing the projection of my map here, my data. The CRS function here. Sorry, I am not seeing sure what I am typing here. So, what I am going to do is that I am group providing a here 
argument e p s g equal to three eight five seven What it will do is that it will do it will help some changing our projection and in place argument help us to make our change permanent and what does this show three and five you can simply type the watch tab Simply type three eight five seven. I will provide this link in the description below. You can see it is a pseudo marketer uh, coding system, universal transverse marketer system. It is uh, mainly used in different uh, social sites or the various trending uh, app, just like history, RGIS, Google Map, Open Street Map, Bing. Spherical marketer here, so I am simply using this. Yeah. After that, I am running it. You can simply see here what I have done. You can see the change on our map by this by checking the plotting here by plotting our map here. Map dot plot plot. You can simply here and I am activating this here, this and this, this and this. You can simply see I am leaving it here to show the change what we have made after the projection. So I am simply running it again. You can see after the projection. You can see this is after projected result and this is before projected result. We can see it is uh, quite a bit easier for us to help or any more information here too. So I am keeping it here. After that, what I am going to do is that I am going to plotting it name and I am going to changing it color here. You can simply go here and you can provide a column according to which you can change your color of the map. I am simply providing a name variable here according to color. And color map we are going to use is jet as I have mentioned in my previous video too. We can use different color variable here. We can get it from the uh, matplot library website. You can see it here I have opened my matplot library. You can see it here. You can simply use different disabilities plasma inferno magma series and if you are observing the increasing pattern you can use ord according to your color needed according to your situation you can use different color here so i am using here jet jet using i am using jet and i am using rainbow pattern and SSB pattern as you can see it, it is easier to type to so I am using this color to show my map attractive here so I am using it as jet here first of all to show you and I am simply running it here you can see this is our old map that we have get and we have plotted the information now without delaying i am gonna recalculate the area in square kilometer as i have changed the projection to recalculating the area 
in square kilometer we can simply inactivating this and you can type a command is old map dot you can simply use this and you can use a area area here you can simply use it after this I am going to closing this is I this motive has been end here after this I am this copying it here and after this you can simply see it we can get our area in map dot area slash in and 10 to the power 6 1 2 6 0 digit here it will give us our area in a square kilometer if you put it in a square meter the value will be so large so that and changing it into a suitable pattern suitable format here so I am simply run it you can see uh, you can see that we can get our area in now uh, with large value to in square kilometer you can see it here that our projection and the calculating recalculating the area have been done with this and now i am getting the legend in this map here my map here you can simply and now i am adding a legend over my map here Is I have mentioned before or not I am telling you that it gives us our coordinate system in it gives our coordinate system in meter so I am using it and we are calculating it area in it. so I am showing you that now what i am going to do is i am simply calculating the legend over here you can simply use old map dot plot plot you can simply use c o l u m colon equal to the you must have to uh, you can use a different uh, variable here according to the data frame but I am using it area um, here which means it provides us uh, accurate info about the country and I am getting a legend according to my area so my color map will be in And HSB, you can simply see it here, and you can get a get a simply legend equal to true. Legend. to T R U E Q simply here yeah. after this what I am going to do is I am going to run you 
this area with this we can get our area in this format and uh, for the people who is seeing it for the first time it is very difficult to analyze well, which is the unit that they are using in this map so I am assigning a legend keyword here for that simply I am using comma and enter and after that I am using an argument called kwds here after that I am providing a label is L A B L L A level is you can see it here level equal to you can simply use double quoted here and you can type area of the country in square kilometer you can simply type it and you have to close the quoted here and after that you can simply close the area that you are using and you can go behind it and you can provide the figure size over here you can simply provide 7,7 7 over here now after this you can close your final bracket over here with multiple columns you can simply use this column here now after this you can run simply here what does it show you that it's plot size increases as we have increased it from here now I am going to resizing the legend here hashtag and I am passing resizing the legend over here typing I am going to resizing dealing with figure 2 I am going to making my Legend size according to figure, so I am going to mention about figure and excess. Excess equal to, and I am going to using here. Yeah. I am going to import it here first of all. Import MPL tool kits dot. Grid one, grid one, import, meet access locatable, after this I am going to here, I am using my plot library here first mat plot library i am importing here next importing mat plot live dot my plot is plt so i am using it here plt dot and I am using subplot method you can see I am using subplot method here and I am simply doing it 
with this and I'm using your uh, water subplot do is that subplot method generally creates the figure and it helps to create the row and column number I am not adding any statement or the argument here I am just size equal to uh, argument here is my after this you can simply hit enter and then I am using divider equal to make this low locatable here and you can simply type ax over there Hit enter here, and then I am using here divider under dot append append axis divide append axis dot I am providing a size and for keeping my legend at the right side here you can simply type right comma size equal to you can provide a size over here too you can simply provide a size is percentage value and I'm providing the percentage over here and you can provide a paired value here too it will provide a little bit gap in the map and the and I'm going to run it first of all now now you over here I'm going to plotting my map here first of all so I'm going to copy this control C and I am here pushing it and here I am typing it is comma ax equal to ax comma c a x to c a x over here you can simply see we have uh, besides our legend over here and you can see we have make fit a legend over here and then I'm creating a little gap between the access it will pad passing a simple argument here pad equal to it will to create a space i'm going to create a little space over it and i'm passing simply run it doesn't make a make any change but simply you can see it will helps to create a little bit gap between this axis and the legend as we have connected with the uh, old map here too and now finally we are at the end of the video and and here at last we are creating our shape file of our image you can see i have changed my figure size here and i have make it 10 by 10 uh, before changing it we have a size of 7 by 7 we can see it, it is very simple and we are we have changed our image size here and after this I am gonna show you our output file that we have created and get it from our <coughs> working folder you can see it this is our image 
that we have created through geospatial data and with this i am going to end my video here i will see you in the next video thank you keep watching keep supporting